Hi there, Kawa here. So guys, we're going to do our arena runs. We've got to finish up. So this is a part two for the January season. Uh, we left off at Kage last time, so we're just going to finish it up. Uh, the team I'm running today is kind of fun. <laughs> uh, it, it's the first team I'm going to run. It's something fun. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And I like to test out things in the arena. Uh, it's not, you know, to test out the strength of the team, but it's to test out the mechanics, like, does it make sense to even try it outside of the arena? Um, so, this is going to be a test with Renegon Sasuke, Edo Itachi, and uh, Kimono Konin. Uh, this test is going to be if Konin's ability to generate chakra actually matters, because then uh, I'll be able to fire off Sasuke's mystery, uh, generate chakra, and then potentially do a shark bomb also from uh, the water main and seeing that we're in the arena you know none of our stats matter anyway so a move one shark bomb versus a move three shark bomb really has no difference and uh, there's a high combo there's easily a high combo chase here and we get a immobile out of Conan so we're going to test this out uh, hopefully there's people actually in the arena today uh, yeah, if there's like nobody here, then we might have to, you know, not do it. <laughs> I really hope that there's actually people. Actually, I was going to pause the videos um, while we wait, you know, while I'm stuck waiting, so you guys don't have to uh, sit here and wait with me. Alright, so we're back, and we have our first fight. This is a lightning team. So we're going to wait and see what the lightning main is going to do. Uh, that's interesting that Conan did not dodge any of that. She's supposed to have a high chance of dodging chases. Uh, you know what? Let me just sleep this guy and then we'll throw out a shark bomb. Okay. So he has an attack instead of calm mind. And we're going to try to kill this Itachi ASAP because we don't need him uh, removing my debuffs or giving them extra attacks. Even though he's under sleep, we still have a limited amount of time to kill him. And seeing as we're in the arena, you know, we can't do it super fast. So let's see who she starts going after first. I feel like he's going to probably go after the Sasuke, but I have a mirror. So I'm just going to reflect it back at him. Uh, what is this? Okay. Okay, he killed Conan. Um, I probably shouldn't have queued that mystery like that. So it already seems like there's a problem with the team in the sense that they have too many buffs and I don't do anything about buffs. So maybe I should just run the Chiriku team. Yeah, it's uh, see this is how you you know you could test things. Like by running into the arena, it's not about power level anymore. It's about, you know, how stable a team looks and on paper, this team sounds like, oh, it definitely could work, but in reality, it just doesn't. So this should be, let's see, this is perfect, chase, swap back to a heal, we'll take a poison tie. We should probably take healing tips. Oh, whoops. Um, <laughs> accident over there, I was not supposed to select this arena. This is non-ranked, so... Uh, we'll fix it as soon as we... Alright, you know what? Put him to sleep. So, this is also, like I always say, I really hate seeing Shisui in the arena. Um, it's because he's really not that great outside of it, and he just gives you this overbearing advantage in the arena, and it, it gives the illusion to people that he is, like, ridiculously strong, and, you know, people go after him in events. I personally don't think he's that great. Um... Uh, because he, his kit is just not there. Like a three-round 
mystery like that is just not worth the time to think about it. He can't be a move one because, you know, a three-round mystery. Sure, you fire it off once. If I have a mirror, I want to reflect it back at you. So you already can't fire your mystery willy-nilly. So he's already not going to be a position one. And then if he's like a position two or a three, then his real purpose is just to serve as producing a barrier for you. And I guess, you know, for people who don't have a lot of units, Shisui's barrier is very good. But it's nothing to be super excited over, is what my point is. Like, some people value Shisui as, like, tier one unit. I definitely do not consider him a tier one unit. He is definitely not there. But hey, you know, a lot of people think that he is, you know, because of a combination of factors, such as, hey, he has, you, know, you can give Ruta Warrior and he has dodge, so, you know, he's really good, but it's like, we're in a day and age where, you know, your dodge really doesn't matter, and uh, Ruta Warrior gets removed like, by almost anything these days. So, it's like, yeah, I guess he also has a unique chase, but... I don't really use that chase. Like, I don't think a lot of people really use the repulse to low chase. There, there's actually times where I was really upset that I had when I was using uh, Susano Itachi, and it's just like, damn it, why do you chase, you know, repulse to low float? Because uh, I was trying to run him with uh, either Sailor Sakura or uh, uh, the swimsuit Sakura, and he, I just don't want him to do the chase, but you have to use him. But now that we have Edo Itachi, that's all. Uh, fixed. We don't have to worry about that no more. Uh, but before that, it was just like, damn it, I really don't want you to chase Repulse to low. And, yeah, I don't know, it's just, maybe it's just my personal bias, but I don't think Shisui is a tier 1 unit. 1.5, maybe, and that's, like, really pushing it, in my opinion. Oh, okay, we gotta fight. Uh, okay, we're gonna put this Kasami to sleep. Is that a Kabuto? Oh no, that's, that's Tsunade. <laughs> I thought that was Kabuto for a second. Alright, something got sent back. So, Poison got sent back. Alright, we should probably kill the Water Mean right away. Or at least CC her so that, um... We can start working on her. He's probably targeting the water main. Okay. Actually, that's interesting. What did I bounce back with my mirror? Because I went first, didn't I? But he doesn't have a mirror, so what the hell did I bounce back? Yeah, what am I... Oh, 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 I, I'm dumb. I'm bouncing back the uh, poison. <laughs> I, I was like thinking, wait, what am I bouncing back? Oh, wait, killed her, no problem. So this is a lot of damage mitigation on that uh, Naruto. He's losing damage because I have resistance buff from Baldi here. And then uh, Itachi's mirror is also restricting his damage. But the issue now is he's probably going to kill Sasuke. And we're going to have to try to get there with the other two. But he doesn't have poison no more. So he can't... Um, actively, uh, you know, CC lock me. So if Sasuke lives, I won't be able to heal. Yeah, we're just gonna... Alright, let's see where uh, Sasuke decides to bulldoze. Alright, so we're gonna use Shiriku now. So with this massive amount of damage mitigation, he's actually not healing as much.
Uh, we'll let him go first. Because uh, we plan to hit him with the mystery. And this should kill him. Because that was already 12, and he was like at 2,000 life. So yeah, the chase will finish him off. I do prefer this team with uh, Anbu Itachi more. But, um, because I'm not Lightning Main, there's no reason for me to be on Buatachi. Because if I was Lightning Main, you know, I have Ruta Warrior. Uh, but, because I'm Water Main, oh, it's you again. Okay. Um, oh, that's excellent. Please go to sleep. Okay, and we're going to try to kill the Satachi first. So the lightning means you die. Uh, Shisui is not a threat. And we're just going to hit him with Baldi, which should finish off Itachi. See, that, you see the issue right there with Shisui. He just chaos himself. It's like, if I have a mirror, you can't use his mystery wildly like that. And that's one of his like major downfalls. He has no ability to reset himself outside of a uh, an ally helping him, like uh, Wind Me or uh, well, I guess Lightning Me can do it too, and Fire Me can do it too. But that requires him to kill something, and Koto Matsukami does not hit like that hard that he kills something. And um, so you have to set it up. So if you have to set it up like that, then he just loses the ability to be like, a position one. Um, it's just, yeah, it's like, he's he's really a ba a barrier unit, and that's all he is. He, he, like, whenever I use him, I slap him on at, like, position 4, and his job is just to give me a barrier, and maybe help with the chase, and, I don't know, I just feel like he's not great. Like, like I don't know, like, if you give him, like, maybe a skill book or something, it would be so much better. Like, if his mystery was, like, a two-round cooldown, then it's a lot better, but three is just too crippling. And I guess maybe make it so Koto Matsukami can't be removed. That would be really good. Like if it was like uh, Izanami, where you know they can't remove it unless they have a certain amount of chakra. Then yeah, Koto Matsukami would be really good. But as it stands right now, it's like sure I'll just heal it off, or I'll you know send it back at you. It's it's just it's just not good. Like I understand a lot of people like to hype him, but eh, there's better options. An all-star in the arena, definitely, because... <coughs> oh, sorry. But yeah, uh, definitely an all-star in the arena is because he simply just has the most ridiculous kit in here because in this arena, the person with the most buffs win. Well, I can't say the person with the most buff wins, but it's like a buff gives you a uh, advantage. And he gives your team a 40% advantage, he himself is kind of hard to hit in the arena, and you get Root of the Warrior, which actually matters. So, y you just see a lot of them in here, and it just doesn't reflect itself outside of the arena. And it, I know a lot of people like to, you know, use the arena to uh, have confirmation biases. Uh, 
uh, that was my fault. I kind of forgot uh, Fire Maid's Mirror was a thing. I should have probably waited for Itachi to hit them first. Yeah, you, you don't get to remove it, friend. Yeah, I, I was supposed to wait for Itachi to um, hit him first, and then, uh, because of the poison, I'll burn his mirror, and then I'll sleep them. But whatever, it, it still hit uh, Minato, so it worked out. <laughs> He's probably going to try to go after my water mate, but... It's not going to do much. Because I don't need her around anymore. Her job is done. She cast her heal. Slug came out. It, it should be fine. So next round is when Minato comes out of the sleep. Oh no, no. It's the following round. Alright, so let's just wail on him. We're just going to apply as much poison as we can, and he should logically die to the poison tick. I guess not. <laughs> Alright, this matchup should not be a problem. But it's like a heal now. And she can't outpace my damage. There's no way she can outpace my damage. Because I only have one person attacking each round. Her cooldown is 6, so at best she could do it is every other round. And every other round, I'm hitting him with a mystery, too. But I also have a healer back here, so there's no way he's going to outpace me. Right, halfway through Kage now. So another unit I don't really like seeing in the arena is uh, Kushina. Like her abilities outside the arena and inside the arena are like completely off because in the arena she's not as tanky as she's supposed to be, and her purpose gets like mitigated because she's not really able to take the damage that she's normally able to take and it makes her just look bad but in reality she's actually supposed to be very tanky and um able to withstand a lot of damage but you know if you run into like any random blitz team in the arena who has let's say you know a barrier uh maybe a windblade asuma she'll probably die really fast and it just doesn't properly properly reflect how good she is but, you know, a lot of people still use her in the arena. I can't really fault them for that, but it's still... There are certain units you just don't use in certain places. Or, you know, if we just use the example of, like, Edo Hiruzen. He's completely bad in here. He doesn't do much because, you know, he loses the ability to one-shot people. And... It, it's those factors that you have to consider. Like, you know, there is a list of people you don't bring into the arena. Uh, I have no idea what this person is doing. <laughs> I... Okay, I have to admit, I don't really know what uh, Konohamaru Shippuden does. I don't recall what his abilities are. 
So I'm I'm not even going to attempt to figure it out. I'm just gonna kill this Tendo, even though he can't mystery ever. Oh, so he can mystery. So he took uh, Sage Mode to get Chakra. So... Oh, okay, I get it. So these guys are clone makers, and their clones are supposed to die to fuel Tendo. Uh, that's really bad, because size clones don't die until end of round. And... Uh, in the arena, Konohamaru's clone looks kind of sturdy, so you don't get the chakra to round two, and you ideally want to do Tendo on round one. So, slightly bad planning here. Um, could be better. I saw him get 90 chakra. Does Konohamaru produce chakra? I actually have no idea. You know, I'm going to go look at it right now. What do you do? Let's see. Uh, Konoha members, resistance, ninjutsu, and combo by 20%. Clone is in a field, attacks a random enemy. This skill will cause repulse. Huh! There's a typo. There's a one. There's an I missing in will. Cause repulse and will have Konoha member get one extra standard attack. Uh, no. What? Summons a shadow clone that inherits 40% of life, original unit. Has a chance of one extra standard attack. Cannot stack all effects of other extra standard attacks. Yeah, I don't know why that gave him plus 90. It, it, unless I was seeing things and now it's a plus 60, but a 6 and a 9 looks totally different. You know, because, you know, they're upside down. I, I would hope that I'll be able to identify that. But it looked like a plus 90, though. Uh, maybe you guys will spot it. I, I could have swore to God that's at plus 90. <laughs> No, Sai doesn't... No, Sai doesn't give Chakra. I know... Obviously, I know Tendo doesn't. So... Yeah, I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> Maybe I just saw things wrong. I, you guys can let me know. I really wish we had more, uh, what, is, what they're called again? Skill experiments? Um, skill trials, that's what they're called. I, I'm trying to remember what they called it in the our version. Uh, I really wish we really had more of them. Like, it makes units so much more fun. But, uh, we, we, we're not allowed to have nice things. Because some people are very broken when they have nice things. Okay, so, this is a lot of buffs. Oh, whoops. I was supposed to have stopped that. That's fine. He just chaos himself completely for me. And then I'm going to hit Naruto. Make him dodge. Come on, hit Sasuke. Let me get some chakra out of you. That was 100% my bad. That, that was never supposed to have happened. Uh, I was supposed to stop that Hiruzen in, in his tracks, and then, um, and then trigger Naruto's dodge, and then on top of that, hit him with uh, Chiriko to remove his buffs. But that was absolutely not what happened. Uh, but we should be fine because he's gonna go after my water main. The mirror is gonna reflect the CC, and then I'm just gonna heal. Or he did not go after water main, and I'm still gonna heal. <laughs> Alright, that Hiruzen's good as dead. Uh, Earth main shouldn't be too long for this world. 
Yeah, he's not long for this world. Alright, we're gonna eat that. Oh, he's going to Chiriku. And he's gonna kill him. Oh. Okay. That was actually a smart play, because I was definitely going to use that mystery, and I was definitely going to uh, kill his B with it, or attempt to kill his B with it. So I think we actually might lose this one now. Uh... Yeah, we're going to lose this one because um, we took unnecessary damage for no reason. Yeah, we're just gonna concede. <laughs> because that was my mess up. I. Yeah, that was so bad. That Hiruzen should have never went off. At all. <laughs> Actually, it, it should have never went off on the grounds that I was supposed to have slept the Earth main, not even the Hiruzen. I was supposed to have slept the Earth main so that he can never produce the chakra for them. The Hiruzen would never have went off. Yeah, that's oh, I, I feel so bad. I messed up like that. Yeah, because then Atachi's attack would have uh, hit Hiruzen, assuming you know Sasuke didn't hit uh, somebody, and um, then Shiriku would have chased CCing him. Damn it, that was so bad on my behalf. Sometimes you need lightning reflexes in this game, and I sometimes just not paying attention. And sometimes you have to analyze the battlefield like really quick. You have about three seconds when the fight starts to quickly analyze the battlefield and figure out who you have to target right away. It's those split second decisions that, you know, win or lose fights. <laughs> and I have to admit, I couldn't tell which Hiruzen it was at first. So I was like, wait, is that Hokage Hiruzen or is that Edo Hiruzen? So I was like, if it's Hokage Hiruzen, I don't need to CC him. <laughs> but, you know, I, I I didn't react fast enough because I was waiting for, like, Emma to show up. And I was like, wait, there's no Emma. And I was just too slow already. Just the Earthling started casting and, and I ate the Hiruzen. It's just like, ah, uh, so bad. And then he proceeded to chaos himself through Sasuke so the sleep was redundant. It, it was layers and layers of just misplays on my side. Alright, let's see who this is. Um, okay, I saw a mirror come out. So, I feel like I'm safe to do this. And that's not going to do anything. Because I let him attack first. He lost 20 chakra, so he can't free himself from the sleep. That's something that uh, people with El Itachi need to uh, remember when playing against fire mains. Uh, they have the ability to gain 20 to 40 chakra randomly. So you have to be really careful. Okay. Um, okay. So there was nothing. <laughs> I got scared for no reason. <laughs> I thought he was going to uh, actually, you know, do his attack. And I was just like, oh, wait, no. <laughs> I think he was thinking the same thing. I think he, he thought that he pressed Han's mystery. But in reality, he attacked me and then lost 20 chakra. So he couldn't cast Han at all. So we both kind of weren't paying attention. I was, I was like, oh, crap, it's Han coming. Okay, okay, this time, this time, we're not messing up. Go to sleep, friend.
Hiruzen should be literally dead. Uh, mirror is going to reflect the CC. And we're going to heal. And then we need to interrupt B. Now Earth Main is going to die. And then it's going to be 4v2. So, okay, even if he was able to lower his CD, I just stole his chakra. So he couldn't even do a mystery if he wanted to. Uh, that's fine. Alright, let's take B out of the commission. This will lower Chiriku's uh, CD, and we're just going to hit him with Chiriku. If absolutely needed, I will use uh, Itachi. Alright, nope. But I'm going to use it as on Naruto. Because this mystery hits so damn hard for no reason. <laughs> it's actually so amazing to me, it hits so damn hard for no reason. Alright, there should be no way in hell he can win this. So, like I always say, when fighting Naruto... It always comes down to can you f degenerate it to the point where it is 4v1. At 4v1, he can't lifesteal enough. Even with just three standard attacks wailing on him, he can't heal enough. He's just going to take so much damage that he gets outpaced. Because the first attack is going to force him to dodge. The next one's going to hit. The next two are going to hit him. And um, if one of them was able to cause a chase, he's just taking damage on top of damage, and he's not going to be able to out outpace you with his heal. Uh, it's also a thing to remember is you need to avoid bringing clones, because he does heal a lot off clones. So, for people who you know like to bring clones, gotta remember that. Uh, this is a Kurenai. I got to be careful. We're going to put this guy to sleep because I don't like him. Alright, we're going to have to water me. So, in this situation, he can use Kurenai to free uh, Shisui, but I don't know why he would. You know, just saying. I... Yeah, because he's going to free water me. But uh, freeing water mean it's not going to be enough to, you know, get him out of this situation. We're going to expect a uh, Kushina mystery next round. And does she say... Excellent! He didn't even get to heal. <laughs> this is the thing that people tend to forget. Uh, Sasuke... Randomly chaos as people. <laughs> you just can't, you know, accidentally attack him. Was, you know, you risk that, was it 45% chance you get chaos for no reason? And that's also, I don't understand why he took the uh, frog. Oh. Uh, is this shadow? Oh, perfect. Thank you for sleeping yourself for me. Uh, I'm going to be putting you to sleep now. <laughs> Actually, he looked he was faster than me, wasn't he? Oh, doesn't matter no more. <laughs> He's mystery egg now. It doesn't matter. I was like, wait, is he faster than me? I think he is. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy laughing at the fact that he uh he fired the 
mystery so quick. Oh, you're Chaos 2 now. Nice. Uh, we're, we're still going to kill this Madara fast. Because I, I don't want his buff to be around. That presence buff is going to be a problem if I don't kill him fast. Uh, gotta be careful. Yep. Wait. I attacked first this time, right? So I'm faster. Okay. <laughs> these things matter, and I gotta remember these things. Uh, I'm too used to, you know, um, where I know who the enemy is, and I can just, you know, confirm or deny how fast they are. You know, just through looking at their name. But, uh, because in the arena, I can't see your name. I can't exactly tell how fast or slow you are. <laughs> Alright, these two are dead. Um, I really was hoping Madero would die sooner. But, whatever, it works out. As long as I don't die to this, I should be fine. Alright, let's hit him. Fire everything we got at him. See, you see how I'm, I'm degenerating the fight to a point where it's 4v1. Even if I'm, like, you know, really low on HP, at a 4v1, he is... Whoa! That really hurt. Um, but, yeah. It, it, it becomes super disadvantage to him. Yay, we're super kage. <laughs> We got a, still a long journey to go, but we're starting to see more of these uh, Naruto's showing up. And um, I know that this is the arena, so, you know, fights don't play out the same way outside of it, but this, it's the same general tactic you have to use when you fight Naruto. You have to race him to killing the backline. If you could kill his backline and force the fight into, like, a 4v1, a 3v1, anything where you have more people than him. It gives you a overwhelming advantage, and you need that overwhelming advantage to beat him. And this is usually why I tell people you need to bring like a Dodger who is a secondary DPS, like Hokage Minato. Uh, he, he attacks multiple times, because I count his current eye as an attack, and he scales on top of that. Which Naruto cannot do, and he will die. Oh, sorry, guys. Had to uh, pause. I was sneezing. Uh, but yeah, um, I was talking about Hokage Minato. Yes. So uh, Hokage Minato is the one of the answers. It doesn't always have to be him, but he's the most easiest one I can point to and tell you. If you have him and like. Uh, another DPS, you know, your primary DPS with him, he should be able to help you kill that Naruto because you're outpacing his heal. And that's how you beat him. You you have to, have to outpace his heal. He you you can outpace it with standards, you can outpace it with mysteries, just you just have to degenerate it to the point where it's him by himself trying to survive and you got people wailing on him. I know it's not an easy thing to do. But that's the only way you can really, realistically, beat him. Because you're not going to beat him in a 1v1 that easily, because, you know, he has the dodge, and then he has his, like, minor lifesteal, but it's really the fact that he's dodging your standards or your mystery, and then, you know, you have to hold back to fight him. That's, uh, that causes the 1v1 to be hard. So, how do you alleviate the problem? You make it a 2v1. Alright, who's here? Alright, you again. Alright, night night. You're not going to be allowed to do that again. Perfect! This time I even got the heroes in.
All right, so step one, kill Hiruzen. Step two, um, kill the Earth main, and then kill all oh, Killer Beat. Hiruzen and Earth is going to be really easy to kill in this situation because I have poison on them. B is a lot harder seeing I can't poison him. Whoa. That hurt uh, Baldi a lot more than I thought it would. Or was he actually low? I, no, I don't think he was that low. Maybe I crit him? Alright, we have to be prepared to interrupt B now. But at the same time, we have to keep an eye on uh, Naruto. Oh, no. Uh, Baldi's dead. Um, I don't know. Did he crit him? Because he really shouldn't be taking that much. Which is so strange. Like, am I getting crit for some reason? Oh! No, 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 no. I know what the situation is. The The issue is that he still had a shield up. And he was probably holding the shield buff from Earthmane. Yeah, that's probably where the extra damage was coming from. His, his shield wasn't taken down. I don't think we're going to win this one. Just simply on the grounds that um, we lost a resistance buff here. And we're not able to outpace him. Because we're now on par at a 3v3. And then we're about to lose our DPS. So yeah, we're going to lose. We'll concede this one. Uh, if I don't take healing tips, there's nothing else to take. So I'm kind of forced to take healing tips. Yeah, there's nothing I can change here that will make a difference. Actually, thinking about it, no, no, it, would that help? Maybe. You know what? I'm going to try it real quick. I'm going to put her in. Swap this over. And see, does that change things up? So the thought process on this one is um, the passively healing slugs should be able to help me outpace damage. Uh, a mirror was burned. He just mysteried. Uh, I'm going to put you to sleep. No 40 chakra. No 40 chakra. No 40 chakra. No 40 chakra. Yeah! <laughs> Just 20. So this way I have an assistant um, healer. And, you know... I give up the CC on Chase, but I don't think it's that big of a deal to give it up. Well, actually, no, I don't give up the CC on Chase because I have Water Main doing it now, uh, which is a well, it's a hundred percent chaos rate. So it's like Baldi's one, but I can't remove Root. So that's something I do have to give up for for this. But I feel like it could be worth it to have the secondary healer here. Because as with most summons inside the arena, these things are pretty tanky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was about to press um, chaos there and then <laughs> I had to stop. Okay, a mirror was burned on both sides. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take the initiative and put his Itachi to sleep. Oh! 
My bad, I was not paying attention. He's faster than me. That was bad. That was really bad. Um... I'm willing to lose for that. And then on top of that, he has the advantage with the barrier. That's not good. So you see how Shisui's not doing anything right now? <laughs> His only purpose now is the barrier. Um, I just wanted to point that out. Because if you have Naruto here spamming, what is Shisui doing? Nothing. Alright, let's heal ourselves out of this. Maybe we can still get out of this? I'm not too sure. Though I have to admit, it's really nice to have a double layered uh, CC like that in the event of a mirror. Uh, props to my opponent for that. But... I still don't like the Shisui being here because he's not doing anything. Also, uh, yeah, he didn't, he literally didn't do anything. It's, this is round what? <laughs> round four? He didn't even miss Shuri yet. His barrier is gone. He didn't do anything, so. But it's also my fault for messing that one up. Uh, this one. Let's see, does he want to mess up this time? He slept me? Okay. Okay, I I know exactly what to do in this situation. Wow. Uh, I was going to wait to sleep him, but apparently uh, Itachi wanted to get caught by a chase. So, yeah. <laughs> Did not expect that. Um... All right, let's get out of this one. He's going to go after Sakura. And we're asleep till next round? Because I didn't move yet. I didn't move before he slept me, so yeah. Uh, one more round of sleep. I don't know when you get out of this. Because that was just the worst possible scenario for us to run into. The, the fact that um, Itachi didn't dodge and then and then, you know his mirror got me. It's just like, oh, that was just so many layers of bad again on my side. Yeah, I I did not take the initiative on that one. I was supposed to. I should have took the initiative and blindly slap him, I'm thinking. Because there was only one unit out of his four that can't be slept. And if I slept a fire main, worst case scenario, it bounces. Well, the worst case scenario, it hits Naruto and does nothing. The best case scenario is... It bounces and it goes back to the fiery main so that he can't do anything. Or the other scenario is that it tags Itachi. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know this thing was still a team. Uh, well, we're going to be smart about it. We're going to let, we're going to let Mabui, you know, do her thing first. All right, now, go to sleep. <laughs> I 
I didn't even know people still ran this team. <laughs> this this team specifically is uh very outdated. This was a 2.0 team. This was the original Edo Hiruzen. The issue was that you had to use a crappy unit like Mabui to generate the chakra to fire off Ten Ten. Uh, I know down the line, uh, at least in the Chinese servers, Ten Ten's uh, mystery cost less. It cost like forty, I think. I don't think it's a skill book. I think they just changed it. Like this team is really outdated because. You, you, you're forced to play this move one. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you have a battery. And you know what the battery does? It produces you chakra for a move four to do damage. So, this team is so outdated, it's not good. I don't suggest anyone use it. I do have to admit, though, that uh, this this summer uh, Sakura, she's not better than Baldi. I think, like I don't know, she, I just don't see a visible difference between the two, in the sense that she's not overwhelmingly better than him in any way. So I think I probably should just switch back to him. Because Baldi's resistance buff seems to be a lot better than uh, the. Oops. Oh, okay, I thought she would have died, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Baldi's resistance buff seems like it would be better than this heal because she's not really doing much, and she I know with Baldi I get an extra damaging mystery. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to using my bald friend. Alright, so I'm going to maintain the Neurotoxin Healing Tips here. It doesn't do crap. 40% of a garbage heal in the arena is still garbage. Um, change this to that. I think we're good. That's another thing. In the arena, heals just just so bad. But... I can't really take something else. Like, I... I and when I take Water Whip, it doesn't really do much damage in here either. Like, even though the heals are, like, tiny, it does make a difference. So, it's a reason why you kind of force to take the heal. I would really love that I don't have to take it in here, but, you know, there's a crutch that we know you're, you get attached to, because giving up that heal in here, even how minor it is, it does make a difference in some fights. But you could also argue that, you know, if you just took damage, you would probably kill the enemy faster. Actually... Yes, we're going to do that. I just talked myself into it. We're going to do it. We're going to try it like this. I'm mainly taking this uh, Chakra Dissection Blade because uh, there's multiple ways to trigger it. Uh, Sasuke's attack would trigger it the first chase, and then uh, Atachi could trigger it the second time. So I can get two uh, CCs out of it in one uh, turn. Because I can get Baldi's one on the second one, and I can get the Dissection Blade on the first one. And then, you know, also having the random, ridiculously low percent to chaos someone randomly, it helps. You never know when it, these things help out. Um, okay, let's play safe. Put him to sleep, go after Madara and kill him first. So he took the male uh, buff where males are immune. Well, one male and himself is immune.
So, kill Madara ASAP because of his presence buff. Can't be having that. And it's also allowing him to spam mysteries. He's probably going for water main. Yeah, I was waiting for this before I started healing. Gotta cleanse this paralyze. <laughs> See, now we get a double layer CC. Uh, it looks like it could work. And then I'm getting some complimentary damage out of water main. Uh, eat that. I didn't see, uh... No, Minotaur didn't even get to attack. So, yeah. I was thinking, did I even see a mystery? <laughs> yeah, Earth Main, you're not getting that off. Not while I'm paying attention. Alright, now we just need him to die. So, Minato and Madara should die at the same time. Leaving Naruto here by himself. Naked at 4,000 life. So he's going to probably heal up to 6. Maybe a little over six. And then we're going to just kill him with standards. Okay, for the first fight, this was pretty good. Uh, okay, this team again. Alrighty. And they're faster. No to self. Wow, a double dodge. Impressive. I don't think a mirror has been used yet. There it goes. Good night. He's faster, let him go first. I also just want to say, I feel like, um, oh, he conceded? it? Excellent. I feel like uh, Sasuke's uh, mystery should be like a barrier destroyer. <laughs> like, why isn't it? It's a, it's a Chibaku Tensei that's just on fire. But, you know, regular Chibaku Tensei, you know, makes uh, barriers explode. So why doesn't his blow up barriers? And why does uh, Tentail's Madara's one not? Tentail Madara one, he has like eight of those things in the sky. <laughs> and then they come crashing down, so it's like, I don't think your barrier should survive that. <laughs> uh, what is this? There is a Itachi here. Oh, he, he just ran out of chakra. Uh, okay. I was about to say, did I mess up again? And they're faster than me? I don't think so. I was like, 
I'm like, I'm pretty sure I attacked first. <laughs> Yay, more chakra for me. Alright, so we're eating a Conan next turn, so we're, we probably should start healing. Nice, he got chaos. Alright, this should be in the bag because these two are under mass amount of poison. And their healer Kakuzu is out of commission. That's really easy. Um, it's really too early to be playing Kakuzu. I really don't suggest anyone to use him because he needs. It's not even like he needs a lot of things to be really good. But one of the most important things that he gets is he his heal gives people double attack. He needs that. It's not even like oh he scales. Oh you know he the scaling is really good. But you know. That's besides the point. It's, uh, oh, uh, you know, his mystery can be spammed. No, I don't need that either. I need that stupid double attack. Because, uh, he replaces Jinpachi, uh, because, you know, Jinpachi does it for the Edo people. And Kakuzu does it for all Akatsuki members, well, two Akatsuki members, and he heals them and removes all debuffs. It's just ridiculous. He does it every round. He himself has super armor. So when he gets that scaling placed on top of him, He's near unkillable. Unless, you know, you face another Kakuzu or you, um, you know, run into people who are like, to survive your blitz and you outscale him. But that's besides the point. He needs the, uh, he needs that limb attachment uh, passive to be buffed before he can even be considered as a good support. Because when he has it, it makes all the difference in the world. A Conan attacking twice can lower her cooldown twice. A Daedara attacking twice means more spiders and more scaling. And just more raw damage in general. Um, Susu no Tachi, no, I guess more damage, but yeah, doesn't really matter that much. And is there another... I guess you want to count uh, Death Possession Hidan. He'll stab twice. You don't have to use Killer B no more. <laughs> that that old team of Roshi, Killer B, and Lightning Mane. <laughs> Alright. Who is this? Uh, Sure. If you are getting out wins, I accept. So, if we need, like, what, three more? Three more wins to get out of here? Can I run into them three more times? <laughs> Give me those Konohamaru people three more times. I accept this generous offer. Oh, so yeah, guys. I'm going to be making a uh, Guy Gate of Shock uh, team uh, by the request of Opai. So be on the lookout for it. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> At least I hope it's going to be hilarious. I might get my ass beat, but uh, let's see. Another unit that I feel is kind of underrated is uh, Pakura. She's actually really interesting in the sense that she gives a double attack to a win unit two win units and she herself is not a win so she can't give herself the buff and if you carefully construct your team she's actually able to uh, you know double attack two people like 
a Naruto and a Hokage Minato. <laughs> Just saying. And she also has a uh, CCA chase. Her mystery is garbage, though, so... She's kind of just like um, a passive unit. You know, you just use her for her passive. Though, I don't know if she's squishy or not. I never really used her, so I wouldn't know. But, um... I always suggested that, um... You know, in My Great Ninja War, we have people who run, um... Hokage Minato as their DPS. And, we, you know, we have teams of three of them. I always suggested that they... Uh, make it so that there's the only win units on the battlefield would be Hokage Minato and then somebody used Pakura so that she could only hit those three. Um, okay. Alright. Night night. Ah, you're chaos too. <laughs> that was relatively easy. So, <laughs> when you first look Get your Susanoo Atashi, don't be trigger happy, because I know not everyone has him yet, and you know, you probably didn't have time to practice using him yet. But number one rule, don't be trigger happy. Analyze the battlefield first. You see me mess up too, but you know, you have to at least analyze the battlefield, like really quick, so you don't pull the trigger too quick and get it reflected back at you. I feel like they should put more time for us to, like, see what the units we're fighting are first. <laughs> because we got, like, it, it says it's three seconds. It really isn't because, you know, there's low time and stuff. So you have about two seconds, uh, you know, between, you know, the buffs being cast and, you know, them coming into the field to figure out what you have to do. And you have to make that split-second decision if you need to do a immediate CC or if, you know, you do a immediate mystery, like, you know, Edohiruzen. Granted, the Edo Hiruzen is relatively simple, you know, just put your finger on the button and just kept pr pressing it until, you know, he fires. Uh, but, you know, CCs are one of those, I kind of need a few seconds to, you know, do a judgment call. So I feel like they should bump it up to like five seconds and the timer doesn't start until, uh, I guess, your units actually appear on the field. And, uh... Doing buffs during that time frame is fine, because the buffs really only take about two seconds. Uh, unless you have like a crap ton of them, then it takes about three seconds. But it, well then, then you know, it obviously doesn't eat into the, you know, movement time. It, it, I don't know, I just feel like they could just bump it up to five seconds. It, it would help a lot. Because I know not everybody has, you know, instant reaction speed. <laughs> or can instantly analyze the battlefield and, you know, pick and decide what's the best course of action. Even I can't do it, you know, I, I always mess up. And, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. but if we had a few more seconds to work with it, I think uh, it would improve a lot of things. Because right now, we're like in the Wild West playing quick draw. <laughs> it's just, oh, quickly, a CC. It's like, or, um, you know, how sometimes when the round starts, and, like, let's say you're playing an Edo Hiruzen team, but you don't play, like, the Asuma, and instead you want to use Earth Main, it's a Chakra Wall for the... Chakra? Maybe that's a bad example, but you, you get where I'm coming from. Where, you know, you need Chakra, and the only way to get it is through Earth Main. But, you, you know, you don't react fast enough to cast it right away. So, actually, you know, the Tendo team would be the best example, because you need that Chakra right away, but... I don't know, I guess maybe you lag or something, and you don't get the chakra, Tendo goes and does the standard, and he doesn't get to do his mystery. Those type of scenarios are like the worst feeling ones. But we're lucky that we don't really have um, people who have non-prompt mysteries like that anymore. So, we really don't encounter those type of scenarios too much. But, you know, it, it, it is an issue that we do run into. Uh, interrupts being the most annoying ones because, you know, at least with Susan and Itachi, if I've, even though I failed to catch you and stop your mystery, I can still at least be like, hey, I chaos you. <laughs> interrupts on the other hand, it's just like, uh, I only have one shot at this. And then on top of that, you also have to be able to judge. Let's say, you know, it's a move two interrupt versus a move two person casting. It's a coin flip, because now you have to, you know, make the judgment call. 
am I faster than him? <laughs> you have like half a second to decide that. Am I faster than him? Do I press the Iruka interrupt or not? <laughs> it's another thing that just bugs me. Alright, who is this? Alright. Good night, Earth Main. That's fine. So, we're faster. We confirmed that already. And uh, our target is Conan. We have to kill Conan. ASAP. I wish I could break his shields because he's getting a buff off that shield. I'm so sure he is. But I can't break it right now. Actually, maybe Gamariki hitting him might break it. 900? I don't think so. Because I think I only did like about 5. Oh, well, it even hit him. So, yeah. We're taking a lot here. Uh... He's going to hit wind, water main. It's going to get reflected. We'll be fine. Or he doesn't hit water main. And I'm like 99% sure <laughs> that Conan is very dead next round. Alright, let's heal. Three thousand two hundred. I think he's she, she's dead. But we have to keep an eye out on um, Naruto. We have to interrupt B and at the same time watch out for this. All right. Uh, we're gonna bank on a chance that he probably pressed it already, and we're going to stop him now. Sure. Oh, he didn't even press it. Okay. Um. No harm, no foul, because I need to kill him anyways. And removing his shield helps. Uh, that kind of sucked. <laughs> I did not want the chase to go there, but whatever. So, this Earth main should be dead. He's going to cast shields and then die, because there's, there's an abundant amount of poison on him. And we just gotta kill this bee now. I don't think Baldi's gonna live. Uh, we don't have to rush this bee's death because he already casted his mystery uh, last round. So right after this, we're gonna hit Naruto with is an army which should remove B's uh, buff on him. Perfect. Excellent. All right, we got like one more win. We could do this. <laughs> yeah, show up Komo Hamaru team, please. So I can just get this win and get over with. So, yeah, so, as you already can see, I, I always speak out loud now for my thought process. And that thought process I'm, you know, saying, I already have to make those judgment calls in under, you know, th the few seconds that I have outside of, you know, in between mysteries, which I, I get to gain, like, a few seconds more. Um, yeah, oh, wow. Oh, wait, no, okay. <laughs> I thought he casted it. No, that was just a passive. Uh, okay, so he hit Earth Main with both Chaos Asleep. Um, he just got Chaos. Okay. Uh, she just got <laughs> acupunctured. I don't know. I, I guess I got to target Itachi. There's no one else to target. I guess I can't hit Shisui. Uh, Conan's already acupunctured. 
And this Earth Man has like double CC on him. Uh, he's going after Water Mean, I assume? And the Chaos went somewhere. Oh, I think it went back to him again. I think she sort has it now. Ow. That hurt. Alright, alright, alright. We can do this. Now she's still under acupuncture. <laughs> and he's out of... Oh, I, I thought he was out of charges. But whatever. He can't do anything to me. Still alive. <laughs> and this is why Edo Itachi has replaced Susanoo Itachi. <laughs> that mirror is too strong. Oh, wow. I'm number two. Who the hell was number one? I, I, damn it. I should have did it last week. Then I want to meet number one. Let me go look. Huh. Always beating me here. Yeah, he beat me last time, didn't he? He beat me here last time. Damn it. Oh, well. Um. Yeah. <laughs> we we got our six paths, and we used a um, very f vanilla generic team of uh, the two Ichiha brothers uh, and good old Baldi. Uh, I hope um, me walking through my thought process was enlightening for you guys. And yeah, uh, this is... Till next time, till the next season starts, which is in February, um, that's it for Arena. Uh, look out for my other videos, though. All right, guys, have fun.